Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 116 in the Sudoku problem series. This is a quadruple problem by Wu Chen Lim, and thank you very much for sending it in. So the goal on this one is to fully resolve box 5 using only the quadruple clues, and um, the way quadruple clues work is that the digits um, in the quadruple clue must be placed at least once in the four cells touching that clue. Um, so... Yeah, um, there's a copy of, there is a link below to a copy of this grid where you can try it for yourself. I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video. And when you unpause the video, um, I will be here to explain how this one works. Okay, so there's a couple of important but fairly simple um, quadruple um, uh, tricks in this one. So if we look at box five first, a good place to start, we can see that these contain two, three, four, and five, and these contain five, six, seven, and eight. So the only overlap between those is a five. So we can put a five in here. These become two, three, four. These become six, seven, and eight. Then we have yet to place one and nine in the box. So the one and the nine have to go here. Now there's an important quadruple um, trick that we can immediately do using these four nines. We know that in here, we must put a four and a nine. And we know that in here, we must put a four and a nine. But within these rows, we can only put two fours and two nines because that's two rows of a Sudoku. So if we were to put a four into either of these cells, we would put a four here. In this clue, we'd have to put four up here. And in this clue, we'd have to put four up here. And we've broken the puzzle because of these overlapping clues. We can only put um, we can't put four or nine into any of these cells. So we can't put four there. We can't put nine. Can't put nine there. This becomes the one. This becomes a nine by Sudoku, and the two three here means this has to be the four. And that's the way the overlapping clues, where you save two quadruple clues that contain the same digit, work um, within the same row and box. So that's very useful because we have the same thing here with seven. We can't put seven in here or we'd end up with a third seven. We have the same here with two. We can't put two um, anywhere else in these columns or we'd end up with a third two. So this becomes a three and this becomes a two. And we have the same here with six. So six here and six here means we cannot put a six into any of those. So the six comes out of here. This becomes the eight. This can't be um, eight anymore. So this becomes the seven and this becomes the six. And that's the solution to the problem. Um, really nice um, explanation of overlapping clues and the way that they force them to be, you can't put repeated um, an extra four or nine or a six into these or a two um, or a seven. They're, if you were to put a third digit in because of the way that the um, clues are explain, uh, positioned, you would just end up with everything being broken. Really nice basic fundamental, uh, basic uh, quadruple concept. I think I'm going to call this one a medium because um, the the way that those work can be a little bit hard to explain. I may be over um, over um, estimating the difficulty on this one, but we can see based on feedback. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series, and as always, good luck with your solving.